Yesterday was the last day of November 11, 30, 21. Now, for a lot of people out there, your day must have been pretty mundane, must have been pretty boring. Who could blame you? Yesterday was Tuesday. Nothing really of any significance ever happens on a, on a Tuesday. Unless you're me. Because let me tell you something, my friends. Even though yesterday was Tuesday, a lot of interesting things happened just those short 24 hours. Because boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about today, my friends. We got some uh, Hitsuki Hime stuff to talk about. We got some uh, Aiden Paladin news. We got some Ethan Routh news to talk about. And what do you know? We even get to talk about 8-0 and Taggy yet again. Ain't that just something? But anyway, first, we're going to get into Hitsuki Hime. Because, uh, yeah. It's been an interesting past couple days with uh, Miss Hitsuki Hime. You know, over there on her Twitter, she was hyping up that something big and something amazing was going to happen on the last day of November. She was hyping it up. She even said it herself. It's been a long time coming. And well, no one knew exactly what Hitsuki Hime was on about. Was the last day of November going to be the day she finally puts all of us big bully jerks in her place? You know, as Trippy Poop said on the fifth fucking stream he's done on me, Harley Quinn's happy hour is in charge of the Legion of Doom, apparently. <laughs> you know, people like myself, Harley Quinn's happy hour, Three Force Yoda, Serena Manti, and Vlan, and all these other people have united as one to form the Legion of Doom for the sole purpose of making Trippy Poop and Hitsuki Hime cry. And you know, Hitsuki Hime, she was really teasing that something amazing is going to happen on the last day of November. And you even had people on their side hyping this up. And well... The day came, and I waited with anticipation to see just what exactly Hizuki Hime had in store. Well, uh, what happened was uh, Hizuki Hime decided she was going to go uh, live on Twitter just before she went to work. Uh, it was only a four-minute stream to tell us all that uh, a video game she likes, you know, The Sims... The same uh, video game that caused Suit Yourself and Hypa to break up after Suit Yourself made little cartoon ghosts that looked like Lexi in the in the video game for him to fuck. Well, uh, apparently that's getting themselves a nice little update. And aside from that, uh, our girl Hitsuki, she's going to be uh, doing some traveling soon. She's going to be uh, going to see uh, an old friend of hers from high school, so... Okay, then. Now that's something. And that's about it. That's all she wanted to say, is that an update to her favorite video game is coming out, and she's going to be uh, going on a little trip soon to say hello to some old friends. I was expecting maybe a bit more out of that, but oh well. Oh well, how fun with your little video games and your old friends from high school there, Hitsuki. I'm pretty much done with you anyway. You've pretty much become boring to me. Mm, trippy poop too. But anyway, enough of that bitch. We gotta talk about more interesting things going on on the internet. Because lo and behold, 8-0 and Tanky are back. They've returned to the internet after the ass napkin saga. What it is they intend to do now that they're back, I do not know. 
but Egg Zero has managed to do the impossible. She managed to get an old Twitter account that was previously suspended unsuspended. Which is absolutely fascinating. Uh, apparently, uh, Egg Zero has gotten married to her, uh, I guess, boyfriend that she was with, with right before she left, uh, Conrad. One of the owners of Encyclopedia Germanica that got locked up for, I think, having meth on him or some shit. I don't know. I, I looked at some of the people who were following the 8-0 account, and one of the more interesting people on there, arguably the most interesting, was David Pakman. This, like, twink-looking leftist YouTuber. Who's apparently good friends with Destiny and the Young Turks in them? It, it was honestly amazing to see that David Pakman, of all people, was following Aid Zero, the ex girlfriend of the Gunt. Just fascinating. Well, speaking of the Gunt, well, we got some sad news for you guys. Looks like Rambots quit the kill stream indefinitely. You must be wondering, oh, what caused Ranbot to disavow Ethan Ralph this time? Well, it's that simple. You see, since Ethan Ralph likes to be, uh, good chums with Nick Fuentes, you know, Rambot, the oh-so-white nationalist himself, can't stand by that. He cannot stand by his lord and master, Ethan Ralph. Being good friends with a Mexican degenerate like Nick Fuentes. No. Oh. So he had to draw his line in the sand. He said, fuck you, Ralph. I'm outie. Okay, keep in mind, this is the uh, same Rambot who did not quit the kill stream after Ethan Ralph made fun of, you know, Rambot's wife having a miscarriage there and losing their baby. He didn't disavow Ralph over that. But Ethan Ralph being buddy-buddy with Nick Fuentes is what caused him to go over the edge. Okay, then. Yeah, so Ethan Ralph and Rambot have broken up and there's a bit of a lover's quarrel going on right now. Just figured I'd mention that. But... Last story we gotta go over today is Aiden Paladin. Oh. She's really outdone herself this time, boys. She really has. You see, my friends, Aiden Paladin, at long last, has finally accepted Jesus into her heart. She said it herself on more than one occasion that Christ is king. But now it's been confirmed. She is a woman of God. She has allowed Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, into her heart. And now her journey to become a, an oh-so-perfect and kind Christian begins. Case in point, she made a nice long tweet thread saying how she felt bad for treating Destiny like shit. How she should have never done that. How she wishes to apologize to Destiny. In the hopes that maybe, just maybe, he will forgive her. She doesn't care if he responds or not. She just wanted to say that she's sorry for everything that she has done. And then not that long afterwards, she was calling Jeff Holiday evil because Jeff Holiday was making fun of the fact that Aiden Paladin had to be in a wheelchair. Because Jeff Holiday bullied her so hard, she wound up in the wheelchair. Even though Aiden Paladin has stated on more than one occasion that indeed it was Crouton T himself that caused Aiden Paladin to go in the wheelchair, but you know details. You know, to the untrained eye, it kind of sounds like Aiden Paladin isn't a very good Christian. I mean, maybe it's just me. I'm not the most religious guy on the internet. 
but didn't Jesus teach us all to turn the other cheek and forgive our enemies, forgive the people that wronged us? You know, it kind of makes me wonder how someone like Aiden Paladin can call herself a Christian and pretend to feel sorry for what she did to Destiny. Meanwhile, here she is calling Jeff Holiday of all people evil for quote unquote making fun of the fact that Aiden Paladin had to be in a wheelchair for like three minutes a long time ago. You know, again, maybe it's just me, but it kind of sounds like Aiden Paladin is just going on this whole Jesus is Lord thing just to grift more money off of stupid gullible idiots. Which is also fascinating that Aiden Paladin is doing this, seeing as how a couple of months ago Aiden Paladin was calling everyone that bullied her esoteric Hitlerists and saying that Nazis are bad. Meanwhile, when you take a look at some of the stuff these internet Nazis, these internet white nationalists, what have you, are posting on the internet, they uh, they really do like that Jesus fella. They really do. I mean, some of them will even put random Bible verses or ba random Bible quotes in there. You know, Mark fourteen eighty eight, John thirteen ninety two, and all that shit. You know these. Uh, these wig that these these evil Nazis, these evil fascists, they really do like that Jesus fella. Let me tell you. Let me let me tell you. But I don't understand why Aiden Paladin, you know, little Miss Right Wing Antifa herself, little Miss Right Wing SJW, little Miss Antifa. Line, I don't understand why she's getting on the uh, on the Crisis King train when a uh, a lot of the uh, esoteric Hitlerists like Hitler too, but. Again, it's probably just a grift that's going to blow up in her face at some point. Hopefully soon, but who knows. But anyway, this is where I want to, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and end all of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little, uh, little story time. Because uh, it's been interesting, past 24 hours. Stuff coming out of Hitsuki Hime with that little four minute live stream on Twitter. Aiden Paladin's new grift. Ethan Ralph and Rambot breaking up. 8 0 fucking coming out of nowhere. Just fascinating. What can happen in the span of 24 hours? Oh, and speaking of Aiden Paladin, uh, our old friend Mr. Bass Crowdenty has decided he was going to give his hot takes on uh, what Aiden Paladin's been up to. So maybe, you know, November was the month of Trippy Poop, and I had a lot of fun with that blubbering idiot, but maybe, you know, December is going to be the month Aiden Paladin and Crouton T go after each other again. Oh, that's going to be fun. I hope that fucking happens, because I will be a goddamn A-lock heavy. If that fucking happens, but it's only the first day of December. We still got 30 days to go, so who knows? But anyway, this is where I'm gonna have to end it for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.